Hey, it's Brad here. Have you ever thought about how do we use things in the sky to help us navigate? Now, during the daytime, it might be easier for you. Things rise in the east and set in the west. But what about at night when there is no sun or moon? Well, we can use the stars, specifically the Southern Cross, to help us find our way. If we can find the Southern Cross, we can find south, and then we know where we're going. So let's do that today. So using the Southern Cross, we can actually have two methods of finding south. Now, the first is using the long part of the cross. As you notice, the top to bottom is longer than it is side to side the width. So if you take the length of top to bottom and go three times down that length, so one, two, three, where we end up is what's called the South Celestial Pole. This is the point at which the Earth is rotating in the Southern Hemisphere. And if you go straight down from that point to the ground, that is south on Earth. Now, the other way is actually using what's called the pointers as well. Now, the pointers are the two bright stars next to the Southern Cross. These are called Alpha and Beta Centauri. In fact, Alpha Centauri has three stars in it and is the closest solar system to our own solar system. It's 4.2 light years away. Now, what we can do is draw a line in between the two pointers. We then draw a second line from the top to the bottom part of the cross. The point where those two lines meet is the South Celestial Pole. Down to the horizon, you find South. So this is a really cool way of being able to find South and navigate here on Earth just using the stars. And it can be done across the entire Southern Hemisphere. So why don't you go outside and have a look and see if you can find South on a nice dark night. Take care.